Hey, Getty. Um, nice to get that one under under the belt. Uh, you've got a pretty impressive side there. I mentioned before how fit they were and things like that, but also what's sort of shining out is their, um, how mentally tough they are. They look you know, really calm and composed. Um, you know, is it something you guys have worked on um, before heading to this, this tournament? Yeah, I think the big thing for us is about game management. I mean, to me, the All Blacks are always the benchmark and they go sometimes behind by 10 or 12 points and uh, they don't seem to panic. And we kind of got ourselves in that position, you know, the Six Nations with 16 nil down against France, got ourselves back into the game. To win that with 10 3 down against England, and we did the same thing. So, you know, just players in terms of not forcing things, the game management, waiting for opportunities. Um, yeah, look, we've worked really hard, and the camps that we've had, we think we're pretty fit. We had a great training session yesterday, and, and you know, afterwards, I mean, Alan and Jones sort of said, you know, we've just had a really tough session, and no one's blowing now. So, I guess, you know, you mentioned before in the press up that, um, you know, you don't tend to look, look too far ahead, but personally, as a coach, um, do you kind of look over the other side and to see what's going on? And if you don't, I mean, uh, how do you keep your guys, you know, grounded so they're still looking forward? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, obviously, we're all watching the games together and then watching what's going on. You're, you're looking at the other pools and, um, you know, so for us, you know, if we do get through to the quarterfinals, it's... It's possibly England or you know Argentina or France. You know that's that's the way it's looking. So you know teams that we're pretty familiar with, and hey, they're going to be tough games. Um, you know whoever you get, um, you're not trying to look too far ahead, but you just you've got to you've got to be smart and just uh, you know keeping you know one eye on what's happening in other groups as well. You talk about smart, but one advantage you've got is it's a long tournament. Uh, you've been involved with the Lions and the length of that. And how important is it to keep scheduling and things like that and keep them guys fresh and um, you know, so they keep motivated over this long period of time? Yeah, that, that's that's really important and having having that experience. Like we, you know, we had a six day turnaround uh, from Monday to Sunday. So you know, what's worked for us really well in the past is um, we give the boys Tuesday and Wednesday off. So we just had to go to a, a three day week so the bodies recover and then, you know, a, a sort of a one tough day and then easing into it with more intensity as the week goes on. We found that's worked really well for us in the past. We've had a really good record with doing that. A little bit different from the Rugby World Cup, mate, From but uh, it's awesome to see you come back from one Chiefs man to another. Looking forward to uh, 2020. I know you've turned down a lot of offers overseas and it's just great to have a, uh, a Chief man come back home. So looking forward to that, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Just buzzing about that. I'm really excited uh, to get back home and... Um, uh, you know, particularly for, for next year, and then I'm away with the Lions for a year, and then and then a couple of years, uh, um, got an opportunity, and kind of I couldn't turn my back on it really. Um, you know, just, it's not not coming home for the financial rewards, but uh, <laughs> um, but you know, it's a great to, to have a chance to, to coach back in New Zealand, and for me, Super Rugby as well. That's the the pinnacle of um, Southern Hemisphere rugby, and um, you know, hopefully, I can go back there and um, and have an input and, and and be successful, and that's you know, that's the goal, and to challenge myself back in New Zealand, which is going to be um, really challenging, but I'm really looking forward to it. Really exciting, excited about it. Awesome, yes, thanks, yeah. there, man. Cheers, Good mate. See you, mate.